Look at this. What? I need to milk you. I'm running really late this morning. I was trying to get the internet to work. You don't give two poops, do you? Nope, not at all. We've been here for like five minutes trying to think about getting up to get milked. And she really just wants me to love on her. She's probably pregnant. It's a good sign. Her and her sister get needy and lovey-dovey. Yeah. I, I can't just sit here and love on you all day. I have things to do. Places to go. Especially when the house buy all your feed. Yes. <laughs> she will literally like this. Think about it. Just like lean into me. For a prey animal, that's pretty cool. I need to pull you out a little bit, though, because you're so close. Is that better? It's hard to tell when I'm... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yes, there's going to be more corn in there. Put your head in, and I'll go get you more corn. Yeah? Yeah, you got to get in there. There we go. Lock her in. This is getting really tight. I think I need some WD-40 or something. Let me set you guys up. <clears throat> then I will run and get corn. It only takes me a couple seconds to grab corn. I just scoop it in the bucket. And it's I'll be right back. A mist rolling in. Ooh, 13 weeks was ye... that's August. Oh my, no wonder they're yeah, they really need to be butchered. Next weekend we're gonna have to butcher. This weekend my husband goes off with the boys. Yay me! Yay me! <sighs> Those women who their husbands never ever go away for the weekend. We are missing out. Unless they're dogs and they can't keep their, you know, wet in their pants. And then you shouldn't be married to them. Then you shouldn't. There's no point in being married to someone like that. Because you're obviously not a team. Oh, my little lovebird. Yeah, our internet went out last night. We have Starlink. Because we live in the middle of nowhere. So we were troubleshooting that. And then the puppy got me up at 3, 3.30, no internet, so I couldn't watch the YouTube, couldn't do half the stuff I normally do, tonight is a leftover night, I think, and those roosters, so I talked about how I was thinking about keeping the naked necks. But I can tell you that they're definitely bred with a very aggressive um, game bird. Not a game bird, a, like a jungle fowl. They are horribly aggressive. I've got one out there that's got a hunk of skin missing off the back of his neck. Like most of his neck, because he's a naked neck. If they didn't have feathers to protect him, he's all tore up. I thought for sure he was dead, so I pulled him out of the tractor and I set him down thinking he was dead and he jumped up and took off running so I kind of heard him he's wild loose inside the barn pooping on everything of course I can't catch him to put any medicine on him and he's not aggressive towards people but they weren't big enough at 13 weeks Last year we didn't have as much problem, but we butchered them right at 13 weeks. But they weren't very big either. We had like three. We were lucky to get a four pound chicken. And we've got some out there that are huge. I'm thinking they're going to be like six, seven, eight pound bird. Which that's almost for just two people. And that's butchered. 
They're big. I mean, these are the meanest birds I've ever had. They are just evil birds. Which is weird because Clyde's not mean at all. He's not mean to the hens. He's not mean to chicks. He is aggressive in his mating. I mean, normally a you try to take at least 15 hens per rooster so they don't lose their feathers because when they jump on them, they'll pull their feathers out of their back. So when you see like people who have chickens and they have no feathers on their back, it's either because they've got a really aggressive breeder like mine or they have too many roosters. So, and it's weird because that's not what was happening to the hens that were with the meat birds. We ended up having um, their necks because they were biting them and then when they grab, they grab a hold of their neck to pin them down and they were losing the feathers. And once they lost the feathers there, it was like game on and they just pecked the neck and ate. It's awful. They're just awful birds. So although they taste better than the other ones, I think next year when I buy, I'll order myself and make sure I get all hens and no roosters. And that will get rid of that problem because the hens seem to get along just fine and I don't need any roosters. I don't think they get any that much. They don't get that much bigger, really. Maybe a pound because those hens we've got out there, they are big fat girls. So fat that I won't be able to keep some of them for egg laying because they're so big, they're going to just have heart attacks and die. Yes. Are you eating the alfalfa today? Is it good? Would you like me to put some alfalfa outside for you? I can do that. Yeah, is it good today? Yeah, you like the alfalfa today, huh? Yep, I'm in a hurry and what am I doing? I'm standing here talking to you like you're a human. And this is why she's spoiled. This is why I love her so much. She's just such a sweet goat. You're just such a sweet girl. You're such a sweet girl, Autumn. A little spot on top of your head here, a little moon spot there, and a moon spot here. A little bit right here on your shoulder. And one on this side. Oh yeah, you got one on that side. That's why you throw such spotted babies when they're spotted. Your solids are solid and your spotted are spotted. Yeah. I don't know if he bred you. We'll see. You don't look bred right now, but that don't mean anything. Once your sister has her babies, and she's uh, done with colostrum, and I'll start milking her, and then I'll dry you off. But you're going to be upset that you're not coming in here and getting extra grain and loving, aren't you? Yeah, that's why. Maybe that's why your sister is such a hussy, huh? Because she knows if she's in milk, she gets to come in here, get extra loving. Yeah? What do you think? It's going to be a pain in the butt getting her back on the stand again. We'll have to make sure I take a video of that. Total chaos because your sister's not nice like you are. She's only sweet when she wants to be sweet. You're sweet all the time. You ready? It's Wednesday. It's hump day. We're going to be halfway through the week. We're almost to the weekend. And today is my kindergarten day. God help me. But you know what? Now that I have centers for them, it's so much better. It really is just so much better. All right, you guys have a great week, and I will figure out when whether the internet stays on when I um, upload my latest videos, all right? Have a good day.